late 2019, I found myself in a hospital inn, preparing for a difficult heart surgery. The sterile walls and the antiseptic smell filled me with a palpable anxiety. I was in my late 60s, and the thought of undergoing such a procedure was daunting. The doctors assured me it was necessary, and I would be monitored closely afterward, but the weight of uncertainty loomed heavy. The surgery went well, and as I was wheeled into my room, the dim light flickered softly overhead. I felt a wave of relief wash over me, but it was quickly overshadowed by an unsettling feeling deep in my gut. As the staff left me alone, I closed my eyes, hoping to rest. But sleep was elusive. On my first night, I awoke in a haze. Dizzy and confused, I struggled to gather my thoughts, remnants of the anesthesia still tugging at my senses. The room had grown dark, and an ominous stillness filled the air. Although I was alone, it felt as if something, or someone, was watching me from the shadows. With trembling hands, I reached for the lamp by my bed, illuminating the space around me. As the light flickered to life, shadows danced on the walls, twisting and contorting in ways that sent chills down my spine. One shadow seemed to linger longer than the others, slowly turning toward me. My heart raced, and I recalled the whispered warnings I had heard from the nurses. An unsettling list of rules meant to keep me safe during my stay. 1. Never look under the bed. It's where the darkness collects, and once you see what's there, it may want to come out. 2. Don't fall asleep with the lights off. Darkness invites the restless spirits that wander the halls at night. 3. Avoid eye contact with figures in the shadows. They might mistake your gaze for an invitation to approach. 4. If you hear whispers, ignore them. They are the voices of those who have not left and may seek to share their fate. 5. Keep your back to the wall. Never let anything get behind you, for the unseen is often the most dangerous. 6. Count to 10 before you turn around. It gives whatever is lurking time to retreat, or so they say. 7. Speak your fears aloud. They grow stronger in silence, feeding on your anxiety until they manifest. 8. Do not let the darkness touch you. If it does, it may cling to your spirit and follow you long after you leave. 9. Trust the nurses, but never let them stay too long. Prolonged presence may awaken something that sleeps beneath their calm facade. 10. When the clock strikes midnight, hold your breath. This is when the veil between worlds is thinnest, and the shadows come to play. As I recalled these rules, a cold sweat broke out across my forehead. Just then, a tickling sensation at the bottom of my right leg jolted me awake. I looked down, horrified to see a pitch-black hand reaching from beneath the bed. Panic consumed me, and I screamed, feeling the icy fingers graze my skin. I called for the nurse, my voice trembling with fear. When she arrived, her calm demeanor did little to soothe my racing heart. She checked under the bed, finding nothing, and attributed my experience to a bad nightmare. But the terror of the night left me wide awake, unable to find solace until dawn. The next evening, determined to stay awake, I fought against exhaustion. The shadows felt more alive than ever, and I could hear them whispering just beyond the edge of my perception. I gripped the sheets, reminding myself of the rules. But sleep eventually claimed me once more, and when I opened my eyes, the room was shrouded in darkness again. A familiar dread washed over me as I sensed a presence nearby. Turning my gaze to the corner, I spotted a pair of glowing red eyes piercing through the gloom. They belonged to a dark figure, its features obscured, save for those menacing eyes that seemed to draw me in. The figure stepped closer, and I felt an overwhelming sense of dread wash over me. As I watched, black hands emerged from beneath the bed, reaching toward me with a chilling intent. I remembered the rules, each one echoing in my mind like a dirge. Despite my desperate attempts to move, I felt paralyzed, trapped in a nightmare from which I could not escape. The pressure on my chest intensified, and in an instant, everything went black. When I finally awoke, it was the next afternoon. A nurse entered, her expression grave. Your heart stopped last night, she informed me. We almost lost you. My heart raced at the memory of the shadowy figure and the hands that had reached for me. Days passed and I continued to see those dark figures, their movements lurking at the edges of my vision. Each night, I gripped the sheets tightly, haunted by the knowledge that they were watching, waiting. The rules became my mantra, a desperate attempt to ward off the encroaching darkness. One night, as the clock struck midnight, 
I held my breath, the silence thick around me. I could hear the whispers growing louder, swirling in a cacophony of despair. They're coming for you, they seemed to say. Just then, I felt a cold breath on my neck, a chilling reminder of the rule. Do not let the darkness touch you. I gasped, bolting upright in bed, my heart pounding. The figure loomed closer, and I could see its outline, a grotesque silhouette with eyes that seemed to pierce through my very soul. I remembered the last rule. When the clock strikes midnight, hold your breath. But it was too late. The darkness enveloped me, and I felt myself slipping away. In that moment of despair, I clung to the thought of returning to the light, of escaping the shadows that threatened to consume me. I fought against the darkness, summoning every ounce of strength left in me. Suddenly, there was a blinding flash, and the figure recoiled as if struck. The shadows retreated and the room flooded with light. I awoke again, gasping for air as the morning sun streamed through the window. The nurse rushed in, concern etched on her face. You're okay, you made it through the night. Yet, deep inside, I knew the battle was far from over. As I prepared for discharge, I glanced back at the room where I had faced my fears. The shadows may have retreated for now, but I knew they were still there, waiting for the next moment of weakness. I stepped into the light, holding on to the hope that I could leave the darkness behind. But as I walked away, the whispers echoed in my mind, you can run, but you cannot hide.